Yuck. Spring in Minnesota. Gotta love it. Right? No. Are you dead? <gasps> oh, that's it. Oh, you're going down now. <laughs> We just came down to go check on Sky and Sadie to see if either one of them had calved. Sure enough, Sky calved. You want to know how I knew that was going to happen? Wore my pajamas down here. That's how you know that you're going to have a calf on the ground. You're not dressed for it. Here we have a brand new little heifer calf. Sky's showing some interest. Okay, so Sky really didn't want to clean it off. So we thought we'd try one of our subscribers' ideas with the grain. If she don't lick it off, I think Holt might. <laughs> I don't know. Might not be working super great. Might not be moving if she doesn't like you there. But I gotta give this heifer calf her shots and her oral vaccine. Okay, so putting the grain on the calf did not really help her clean it off. So then we put some salt on it because another subscriber suggested salt. But that doesn't seem to be working either. I mean, she's mooing to it and stuff, but she just doesn't want to even try to really lick it off. Okay, so we tried everything that you guys recommended to see if. Uh, Sky would lick off her calf and she just had no interest in it. So, <laughs> instead of putting her in the calf warmer, I thought I'd give one other idea a shot of, we've done this before, we had a couple other cows that were real, I don't know if you'd call them like a brood cow. <laughs> anyway, so we put the calf in front of Jetta. I mean, she's eaten some hay, but she's been licking off the calf too. Probably licking off the grain and salt off of her. But we'll see if this works. Good girl, Jetta. Alan's decided instead of milking that heifer by hand, we're just gonna milk her in the bucket. She got a lot of swelling in her udder and her teeth, so he thought it'd be a bit of a challenge to try and hand milk her. Plus, I think he's tired. Right? What? You're just tired and you just wanna do this because it's faster? Well, that, and it's hard on my hands when they don't. Classroom warming up. And I'm just getting ready to wash that milker out in the bucket. Alright, so obviously we could put this heavy. 
heifer calf into the calf warmer we have, that's why we bought it, was so that it was available to use for situations like this with a heifer that just wants nothing to do with her calf. But I really like the idea of having the calf get licked off versus being put in the warmer. For one thing, they dry off faster. For another thing, I think the calf does better. They get all that stimulation from the cow and I just think the calves do better overall. And so, mental note to myself, if Jetta has a real maternal instinct like this, I might use her in the future for any other heifers that calve that might not want anything to do with their calf. Hopefully we don't have that problem for the rest of the year with all our calves, with all of our heifers I'll be calving, but if it happens, this is good to know that Jetta will take a calf that's not hers. But yeah, I mean, had Jetta not wanted to take the calf and lick it off good, we would have basically, I think we would have put some warm water on the calf just to get all the grain and salt and everything off that we put on it and uh, stuck it in the warmer, which like I said, the warmer does a great job. It was a great purchase for the farm, but I don't think it beats having a cow that'll actually take a calf and lick it off for us. So out of all the cows in the barn, if you're wondering why I picked Jetta to put this calf in front of, it actually kind of goes back to when Shamrock calved and her calf was taken off. Jetta was very maternal with that calf and was looking it off like it was her own. And so when I thought of which one to go with, I wanted to go with Jetta because I thought out of all of them, she's one of the ones that's really shown that motherly instinct to calves that aren't their own. So it worked out really nice and it's handy to have a cow that's like that. Alrighty, it's 142. Calf got her bottle. And my pajama pants are dirty. Note to self, next time wear regular pants. Here's Skye, her new mama. She said she's not upset or anything about not having her calf in front of her. It has been six hours since Skye had her first calf and Justin just came up to the house and told us that Sadie just had her first calf. Unfortunately, here again, Sadie did not want anything to do with her calf either. So, Jetta is now the proud mother of two Jersey calves. Yep, this one right here. This is Sky's heifer calf that was born. I think it's right around, uh, it was like 1245 this morning. And this one was just born here a little bit ago. I don't even know if it's a heifer or a bull. Oh, it's another heifer. But yeah, so Alan put some grain on this one too. And it seems like that really helps encourage Jetta to take over them. But yeah, she's being a good mom. Now before that one dries out too much, I should probably get a tag in this one, otherwise we're not going to be able to tell them apart. And then both of these heifers are from our cleanup bull Silas. Yeah, Silas is doing good for throwing heifers, so he is four heifers out of five calves. Yeah, it's supposed to get up to like 50 today, which means this is going to be... One heck of a mess when it all starts to melt. Okay, so I had to go up to the house and grab one of our bags of frozen colostrum because Sadie did not have any colostrum. It pretty much looked like regular milk. So, we'll give the calf this. This should be enough for maybe two feedings worth. All right, so I'm just running some hot water in the sink to thaw out the colostrum. That's a two gallon freezer bag of it. So there should be enough there for, I think a couple feedings. That would be nice. 
Okay, so while that is thawing out, I'm going to go and get the vaccines ready for that calf. So it's the next day. This is Sadie's little heifer calf. We had a couple family friends come over yesterday, and the kids gave them a farm tour. And uh, Carol thought that Beauty would be a good name for this little heifer calf, and the kids approved. So, meet Beauty. We did have to move her from in front of Jetta because her and the other heifer calf were starting to get tangled up. But she's doing good. Here's Skye's little heifer calf. The kids decided to name her Sweet Pea. So we got Sweet Pea and Beauty. I think they're good names. What do you think, little one? But anyway, thanks for watching. God bless.